college football playoffs are now set. Now the Rose and Sugar Bowls are going to be the, the playoff semifinals. Now the matchups are pretty good actually, considering the circumstances, but there is controversy, but I'll get to that later on. Obviously, I'm going to announce the matchups, obviously. For the Rose Bowl in Pasadena uh, on January 1st, it's the Michigan Wolverines. God, I hate Michigan. The Big Ten Conference Championships, champions, excuse me, against the Alabama Crimson Tide, the SEC champions. And that game is going to be at the Rose Bowl, Pasadena, California. I wish I could go there because it's beautiful. The San Andrea Mountains at sunset. Well, seeing it on TV pales in comparison to actually seeing it up close. One day, that's on the bucket list. But on the other side, we have the Washington Huskies, Pac-12 champions with Michael Penix Jr., who's probably going to end up winning the Heisman Trophy or be a very, very, very close second against Quinn Edwards and the Texas Longhorns, the, the Big 12 champions before they make the jump to the SEC. That game is the Sugar Bowl uh, in New Orleans, Louisiana in the Superdome. Now, real quick, before I give you my um, predictions, the controversy surrounding number five, Florida State. They I, I stayed up late last night watching the ACC championship hip game against Louisville. And honestly, it was an amazing game. Obviously, their third-string quarterback for Florida State came in, was a bit green, but he got got the job done. He won them the game, and the rest and the incredible and the amazing job that the offensive line has done incredible. They did what they had to do. They went undefeated, thirteen and zero, won against AP um, teams, AP ranked teams, won their conference, and they should still be in the top four, going for the national championship. The question is why? Why did the CFP screw them? I don't know. Obviously, I haven't watched all of the um, the explanations from the CFP chairman, Boo Kerrigan. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that name, Boo Kerrigan. But Florida State did what they need to do. They won their games. And when the time came, even after the injury of their top-level quarterback and the um, the concussion protocol of their second string, they still won with their third string. The last time a third-string quarterback won a conference championship was Ohio State, my team. Cardell Jones winning it all for the Buckeyes, winning the Big Ten championship. The Sugar Bowl, the first time the... Um, college football playoffs went on. The Sugar Bowl against Alabama. Nick Saban and an incredibly talented team and then winning the national championship against Oregon. All done by a third string quarterback. So it has been done before. Now, the excuse the CFP is giving is that their star quarterback was hurt and injured and blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. That shouldn't matter. You screwed Florida State out of a, of a chance of going for the championship. If it were Florida State versus Alabama or Florida State versus Michigan, I guarantee you Florida State would win. And I'm not saying that because mi I hate Michigan. Lord knows I hate Michigan. And quite honestly, if they win it all, it's probably going to be vacated because of the cheating scandal. Anyway, now that's all out of the way, let's get down to predictions. My prediction for Michigan versus Alabama, Alabama goes to the national championship game. As good as Michigan is, Alabama is up there. Michigan's down here, and they're riding high, winning the Big Ten championship and winning against Ohio State for the third straight year. It senses me that I have to say that. But, Alabama is better. Now, for the other game, the Sugar Bowl, Washington and Texas, that is a toss-up. Michael Penix Jr. and Quinn Edwards have, have led their teams amazingly. 
So I can't really call it, but if I have to say, I pick Washington to win. Honestly, but I don't. But I think it's going to be a very high-scoring in-game, a very offensive oriented, oriented game. I think it's going to be an amazing one. And the champ, and for the championship game, we just played in Houston, Texas, NRG Stadium between Alabama and Washington. I hate to say it, Alabama is your national champion. But Mike, Mike Pinnock might actually pull it off and get them the national championship. That's why I love the playoffs, but except for this year because of the controversy surrounding Florida State. But I can't wait to see what happens. Now, as for my team, the Ohio State Buckeyes, we're slated, we've been selected to go to the Cotton Bowl against Missouri. Now, Ohio State has only won two games against the SEC, once in the 1970s against, excuse me, yeah, was it 1970? Yeah, 1970 against Alabama, and of course, in 2014, the um, playoffs at the Sugar Bowl. Always you is do a win against the SEC. I can't wait to see it. As I said, the Cotton Bowl, um, Arlington, Texas, the last time we were in Arlington, we won the combo against USC. I can't wait to see it. But we'll see what happens.